Hey folks, it's Chris Waters here with Sean McGinnis and another one of our next-gen review updates. This time, we're talking Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Sean, uh, what's the deal with Black Flag on next-gen console? Chris, this may come as a bit of a surprise to you, mm -hmm. considering uh, the number of these review updates we've done before on multi-platform next-gen games, but the PlayStation 4 version looks a little bit better than the Xbox One version. I'm shocked! I know. That's kind of a theme. Like, we sound like a couple of broken records right now, because we've done this for Call of Duty and Battlefield, and it's been the same case. It seems like developers just aren't able to get quite as much out of the Xbox One hardware at this point. Mm -hmm. And you see that in Assassin's Creed 4. The biggest difference, obviously, is the resolution gap. Yes. PlayStation 4 version runs at 1080. The Xbox One version runs at 900. So it's not quite the 720 to, 10, to 1080 gap. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit more narrow, but you do notice the What's difference when you, you compare well? the two games side by side. But then again, how many people have the luxury of being able to do that? Exactly, or are going to care, you know, and, and actually be able to see the differences that we're about to, to talk Isn't about. Just to clarify, running at 980, it upscales to 1080, or running at 900, upscales to 1080. Right. But the when it's rendering it out, that native resolution mm -hmm. accounts for some of the discrepancies. So where would you, if you're flashing back and forth between the two systems, where would you spot those differences? Uh, where you spot the differences most are in the jagged lines and really sort of like fine diagonal uh, edges in the game. And the place where I noticed it the most was on the rope work on the ships in the game. You have all those mesh nets and just ropes hanging this way and that. And those like really narrow diagonal uh, lines in the game, that's where you notice that kind of stair-stepping, the jaggies, the aliasing, whatever you want to call it. Yep. It looks just a bit smoother on PlayStation 4 compared to the Xbox One. You see it in things like grass or like the leaves on a palm tree. Mm -hmm. But, you know, aside from that, it still has the upper hand over the current gen versions in things like draw distance. So when you're out on your ship at sea, you see a lot more of the Caribbean out there. So it's just a much more impressive sense of place yep. on Xbox One and PS4. Um, so visually, you know, you're going to notice the differences side by side. But ultimately, it's not such a big difference that I docked the Xbox One version of the review. They're still getting nines because I think that they're both superb games. Mm -hmm. And you're going to have an awesome time no matter which one you're playing. I'm enjoying it myself on the PlayStation 4 per your recommendation. Uh, and, you know, I made the choice between my two next-gen consoles. But if I just had the Xbox One, I would absolutely be playing it on that system as well. Uh, Anything else that sort of stood out to you about the uh, the next-gen versions of Black Flag? No, not really. I mean, obviously, each version uses the different controllers to different degrees. Okay. Um, but they're not huge game-changers. PlayStation 4 version lets you use the touchpad to navigate around the map. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of unwieldy, and I really prefer just using the analog sticks. Agreed. Uh, Xbox One version, uh, it'll the, the triggers will actually rumble a bit when your health is getting low to kind of mimic your sort of like pulsing heart, mm -hmm. um, or your you know your heavily beating heart when your adrenaline is up. Um, but those are really minor things, yeah. And uh, ultimately, they're you know they're very 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 similar games. Well, thanks for offering some clarification for those who are maybe making that decision or just curious about the Assassin's Creed 4 differences between Xbox One and PlayStation 4. And if you're curious, folks, you can read Sean's full review and watch the video review, all of which applies to these versions of the game, uh, right there on GameSpot. Sean, thanks so much. Thank you, Chris.